And so they left Frozen, and you know, the indignity is so great that they've yeah. now passed that uh, affection on to my two and a half year old son. Yeah. And he, oh, he's like, Papa, can I watch Frozen? And I'm like, no, dude, it's not mine again. <laughs> so, <laughs> you open the movie out. But look at this. This is here, you are in uh, Mexico City. Yeah, we had 10,000 people there. It was kind of Look at this. amazing. Yeah, How it was, fun it was is intense. That? Yeah, it was not quite the Gone Girl premiere. <laughs> <laughs> Just go to omaze.com backslash Matt and Ben. Matt and Ben. Or you could just press my button. You were, you were an uh, actor as a child. I was. I did do some child acting. I wasn't like the child actor who, you know, like, luckily I didn't end up on a show and get famous and go on crack and go crazy. Yeah, you know yeah. You actually had a child. What are your hopes? What are your dreams? What are your fears? And if you don't want to get really weirded out about having, like, existential questions posed to you by Ben Affleck, then maybe we could talk about some other fun stuff, like stories from the set of The Bourne Identity or That's any good. of the other hit movies that I've been Or we could talk about stories from the movie Argo which won Best Picture. And that's just what happened. So, so people always say, are your kids into it? Yeah. The truth is, no, they're not. My, um, <laughs> my kids, um, if I was doing this, the, the sequel to Frozen, I would be a hero. <laughs> but they love I, Frozen? My two older daughters could give a <laughs> about that. <laughs> <And my, laughs> your buddy Matt Damon is Jason Bourne. You're the accountant. I think you can give him a run for his money. Who, who, who would win, the accountant? or Jason Bourne? I don't even think that's, I mean, I think that's sort of obvious. I don't, I'm a little embarrassed that you're even asking me that. Obviously, the accountant's much more <laughs> proficient. <laughs> but... He yes. goes crazy for it. That's and then he like wants me to sing along. And you can't tell your son, because you're supposed to be his hero, that you can't sing. So I'm just like, let it go, let it go. <laughs> and now he started being like, no, Papa, do it like the man. <laughs> I was like, first of all, I'm your father, okay? Jimmy Fallon's not the man. <laughs> I'm putting in my bid. Here's 10 bucks. Okay. All right, that's Thank part you, of it. Right, right, this is, I'll buy your uh, entry. I, I mean, it's, it's, to me, honestly, I would pay just to hang out with Tom Brady. I don't know, me and Matt are sort of the sideshow. It's like, uh, well, there's a Jets fan over there. <laughs> <laughs> Well, he's actually, you he's see, great. I mean, that last game at Yankee Stadium, come on. He's a winner. He was clutch. He was the kind of guy, Red Sox fans know baseball. And they, even when he was killing us deep down, uh, like, it would be nice to have someone like this on the squad. <laughs> <laughs> they say, I'm a winner. <laughs> a winner. We got a bunch of scrubs. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Mr. Affleck. Oh, My name there. is Kylie. And I think I already know the answer to this question, okay. but who do you think would be a better president, Batman or Superman? <laughs> <laughs> I, you know, I think they'd both be great candidates. Um, and what other ways? Well, ben? the first person to win who's scared of butterflies. <laughs> he is scared of butterflies. Not only that, he would be the first person to win who used to touch himself watching the uh, Vicky the Robot from Small Wonder. Oh my goodness! <laughs> yeah, big, uh, yeah, Red big Sox Boston fan. guy. Yeah, and I think you know what I think. Derek Jeter was one of the greats. Yeah, we tip our hat. He was a fabulous guy. There will probably not come another. Uh, uh, athlete or gentleman like him, certainly not from New York City. And, uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's a joke. It's a comedy. Uh, comedy. <laughs> Keep the car running. Uh, pulls his pants, uh, wins an Oscar, uh -huh. who pulls his pants all the way down at the urinal. Is it? <laughs> really? Yes. So, Most, so not, last but not least. You like, okay. Oh, get one more in. Yeah, get one more in. This would be the very first person to win an Academy Award who once asked his brother if Back to the Future was a true story. <laughs> Ben Affleck is my guest tonight. Plus, we have Kate Walsh, music from Tony Bennett. It's a great show, you gotta watch it. Around next. Do we need, oh, we didn't even talk about Detroit. Oh, No, no, Ben, get that girl. Come on, no, no, we'll talk about it. Sorry, man, we'll do it, we'll do it, I swear. So it was, uh, it was a PBS series called uh, Voyage of the Mimi. It was for kids, you know, educational kind of. Uh, the Voyage of the Mimi. You're laughing, but it's not a joke. No, it's, it's, <laughs> no, it's, full, it's very, very available on YouTube. Yeah, you, you can, can find it. Yeah, yeah you can no, find it. Yeah, it. yeah, the Voyage of the Mimi. Yes, it was and for to combining science and math topics with an interesting adventure that a young man took with some <laughs> scientists.